Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea. I'm Baz. I'm back with another one. And if you're a regular watcher of my videos, I bet you're thinking, Jesus Christ, he's on my screen more than Ant and Deck. I do apologise, you don't have to watch, I do appreciate it. But uh, you know how it is, can't help myself, can I? Can't help myself. So, we're back with another beer review. Now this beer is a local one from Cleebury Mortimer. Uh, from the Hobson's Brewery. It was kindly bought for me for my birthday from Jimmy and Eileen, so much appreciated. Never had anything from these before I'd done the first one of theirs that they got me. Uh, so yeah, what we got coming up is Apley Ale. It's a local pale ale. There we go, nice label on there. I do like that, nice little traditional sort of label. Coming in at 4.2% in a 500ml bottle. No idea how much this was. I think this was a bit of a a local farm shop sort of purchase sort of thing. Uh, I can't be bothered to read that stuff on the back, but uh, yeah, first one I had from them. I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, granted it was only three and a half percent. Very skunky in a clear bottle, very skunky, weedy sort of smell. Was a little bit light in it, but again, at three and a half percent, I suppose that's that's how it is. It was. I was a bit disappointed in myself. It was all it was all right, I suppose, but nothing I would have gone searching for. So hopefully with this one, we'll get something a little bit better. I'm sure actually the other one would have been better if you'd had it on the old tap and all that lot. Would have been bang on properly, but in the bottle didn't do it any justice, I don't think. So without further ado, let's get this open. There we go. There's the old bottle cap, do you like that, the old Hobson's cap there. So let's get this out. See what we get. Hopefully it's gonna be better than the last one. It is coming up the glass a little bit. Hope you're all well. It's going to be traditional, I'm guessing. Hopefully, going to have some nice flavours in there. There's certainly, I'm certainly not getting that horrible, nasty whiff that I had out the other bottle. Oh Jesus! Some look at that rocket in there. Looks like someone's taken a dump in my beer. And if I can find it, there's some right stones in the bottom there. So, I mean, that's that's a good sign. I like a bottle conditioned beer. It does add to it. I've got a bit carried away filling it up. So we've got a uh, an amber, hazy amber beer. We've got plenty of uh, rocks in the bottom. No doubt by the time I get near the bottom and can give that a good swirl, gonna get more flavor out of it. We've got a good two finger of quite, quite spacious white head on top, not overly spacious. So I would give it a swirl, but I think I'm probably gonna spill it everywhere. I'll have a go. And we'll dive in on the nose, see what we get. Very malty, very malty. This is big time traditional. Just tell by the smell straight away. Malty, a little bit hoppy. Go in again, give it another, try and give it another swirl without spilling it. Yeah, you're getting that sort of ale hop in there. You're getting the maltiness. An inkling the sort of Maybe toffee caramel on the nose. Maybe an inkling of sweetness as well. I mean, it smells traditional. It smells all right, really. You know, I can't really, it, it wouldn't necessarily be my first choice, a sort of pale ale thing, but it smells all right. So it's traditional. Let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everyone. Let's go again. Let's try and try and get some more flavour out of them rocks at the bottom. See if I can swill them around a bit, get a bit more. I don't think I'm getting much joy out of it. We'll go in again anyway. Typical pale ale body on it. Uh, gentle carbonation. Mouth feels. Not particularly smooth, if I'm totally honest, because it is is quite it's a typical pale ale body, which is generally quite thin. Uh, tasting notes. Hoppy. Bitter. You get that typical, typical sort of ale bitterness to it. Right on the very back end. Licking me lips. There's a lovely malty breadiness to it. A 
not getting that sort of sight. I was sort of getting a slight sweet aroma in there at the start in the, in, in the note on the nose I should say uh, certainly not getting that in the taste particularly uh, certainly not picking any sort of toffee or caramel taste tasting notes in there look at them rocks in there looks like a bloody earthquake yeah I mean for me it's got that nice breadiness on the back end but but for me it's 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 very run-of-the-mill sort of local sort of ale stuff uh, doesn't really do it for me if I'm totally honest yeah it's another one that disappoints me 4.2 percent yeah, it's drinking around that. A uh, little bit of bitterness on the back end with that breadiness. But it's got that typical sort of local sort of ale, malty sort of taste to it, if you like. Uh, there's not enough in there for me, personally. I like a traditional beer, but some, for me, some of these traditional beers are just, are just too traditional without anything in them, personally. If you like your real old traditional ales, you're probably going to like this. But for me, for me, it doesn't it doesn't hit the mark really. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll try and be fair to all these beers, but for me, it doesn't do it. I'll go in one more time. Hoppy, hoppy sort of bitterness in there. No real taste apart from that hoppy bitterness. You get a little bit of maltiness in there. The very back end, the very back end. Obviously, you're getting a little bit of bitterness in there all the way through. A little bit on the back end, you're getting that breadiness, but otherwise, a little bit boring, a bit run of the mill for me. So, personally, the Apple Ale, Pale Ale, don't do it for me really. Uh, it'll appeal to some out there, doesn't do it for me. That's just my view. So, uh, if you've had this before, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to like and share the video. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And it won't cost you nothing. All you've got to do is hit that subscribe thing. Uh, also, if you want notifications of any videos I release, one of these corners, I'm not sure which one, there'll be a bell. If you click on that, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry for the long video. Don't forget, all the be an idea. Excuse me again, on Facebook. All the be no idea one on Twitter and Instagram and obviously all the be no idea on YouTube. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you again on another one. Cheers.